Kochelberg is the secret wonderful lost valley in the middle of the Cape Mountains. You are hidden when you are here. You feel that you are away from the city rush. It's got gentle walking slopes if you like that. It's got biking trails if you like that. It's got a beautiful river to swim in. And you can even do a full day's hectic trail around the mountain if you, if you want to do that. It is a special nature reserve, the World Heritage Site. It has got plants which only occur here in this nature reserve, nowhere else in the world. The location of the actual camp that we worked on and developed was the only area in that reserve which had an impacted footprint and could be developed for tourism purposes effectively. These five eco cabins, they sleep a uh, maximum of four people. Each one has two bedrooms. There is also a separate communal use facility that can be used for small business breakaways or meetings or small workshops or whatever the case may be. We wanted to understand the natural systems, the ecology, the streams, the underground water, the surface water. Once we'd understood that, we could begin to develop a strategy for how to build and integrate buildings into the ecosystem needs of that place. It creates this psychological impression that you are treading lightly on the landscape, touching the earth lightly. We don't want you to see that the cottages they must form part of the vegetation. If it ever became a conservation priority area, they could remove them with the least possible impact to the environment. These buildings would use around two kilowatts per cabin per day, which is anywhere from a fifth to a twentieth of what a normal suburban home uses. It's a serious attempt to try to build in a sensitive way, in a sensitive location, and demonstrate how it can be done and what lessons can be learned. This kind of architecture is fundamental to getting people to fall in love with our landscapes, to fall in love with the nature reserves. It's almost like you can imagine how to live your own life a little bit better and a little bit closer to nature. Everyone has, to some extent, associates sustainability and green development with a slightly slapdash hippie approach and discomfort. And this shows you that you can dramatically reduce your impact on the world and also have a beautiful and comfortable experience. <laughs>